The compressive strength of concrete is a direct requisite of all the concrete structures that need to resist applied forces of different nature. Actually, the concrete compressive strength is a good index of most uh, other properties of uh, practical significance. And uh, to ensure concrete quality standard test specimens are examined during the uh, construction in the field. Uh, these specimens which gives the potential strength of the concrete are prepared, cured and tested according to the relevant standard specifications and the codes. On the other hand, the determination of the actual strength of concrete in a structure is not that much easy because it depends on the history of curing and the adequacy of the compaction of the concrete. That's why one question that uh, designers frequently ask is uh, whether or not the standard test specimens can represent in situ strength of the concrete. The answer to this question becomes uh, even more important when the strengths of a standard test specimens are found to be lower than the specified value. In this case, either the strength of concrete in the actual structure is low or the specimens are not actually representing the concrete in the structure. The problem is generally solved by drilling and testing core specimens from the suspected structural member. And uh, furthermore, it uh, may not be possible to find and uh, taste standard specimens at a later age and it may be necessary to assess the current strength of a structure to determine whether the strength and uh, durability are adequate for its future use. When the concrete is doubted or the structure is intended to be used for a higher stress conditions. For these special situations, the core test is the most useful and reliable way to assess the properties of the concrete in the structure. For these reasons, the common way of determining the in situ strength of the concrete is uh, to drill and uh, test the different cores. Although the method consists of uh, expensive and uh, time consuming operations, cores give reliable and uh, useful results since they are mechanically tested to the destruction. However, the test results should be carefully interpreted because core strengths are affected by a number of factors such as uh, diameter, L by D ratio and uh, moisture condition of the core specimen, the direction of the drilling, the presence of the reinforcement steel bars in the specimen and even the strength level of the concrete. So to know it in detail, stay tuned with this video up to the end and uh, it is really appreciable if you like this video, share this video and subscribe my channel. Let's learn something. Nowadays, concrete core test is a famous and well-established method for the assessment of the compressive strength of the hardened concrete. Core testing enables a visual inspection of the interior region of a concrete member, which is also related to the strength estimation. Concrete coring also enables to evaluate uh, other properties of the reinforced concrete frame structure by concrete core test. So let's understand the detailed procedure for the same. Concrete cores are usually cut by means of the rotary cutting tool with diamond beads. A cylindrical specimen is obtained with its uh, ends being uneven, parallel and square 
and uh, amended pieces of the reinforcement. The cores are visually inspected for giving specific attention towards compaction of the concrete that means the uh, air void visualization, uh, distribution of aggregate and the presence of the steel etc. The concrete core should be then soaked in water capped with uh, molten sulfur so as to make its ends plain, parallel and at the right angle. It is then tested in compression testing machine in a moist condition. If you see IS456-2000 specified that the points from which cores are to be taken and the number of cores required shall be at the decision of the engineer in charge and shall be representative of the whole of concrete concert in no case. However, shall fewer than uh, three cores be tested. Core shall be prepared and tested as described in IS 516. Concrete in the member represented by a core test shall be considered acceptable. If the average equivalent cube strength of the cores is equal to at least 85% of the cube strength of the grade of concrete specified for the corresponding age and no individual core has a strength less than 75%. In case the core test results do not satisfy these requirements or where such tests have not been done, load test may be restored to. The ratio of diameter to the maximum aggregate size shall be not less than 3. The compressive strength of 50 mm diameter cores are known to be somewhat lower and more variable than those of 100 mm diameter cores. Testing error associated with 50 mm diameter cores was about twice that associated with the 150 mm diameter cores. So uh, smaller cores tend uh, to produce more variable results. The preferred length of the capped or ground specimen is between 1.9 and 2.1 times the diameter. Core specimen with L by D ratio equal to or less than 1.75 requires correction to be measured in compressive strength. A strength correction factor is not required for the L by D ratio greater than 1.75. If the L by D ratio is 1.75 or less, correct the results obtained by multiplying the factors uh, as you see on the screen. A core having a maximum length of less than 95% of its diameter before capping or a length less than its diameter after capping or end grinding shall not be tested. A core to be tested for strength shall not be removed uh, from structure until the concrete has become hard enough to permit its uh, removal without uh, disturbing the bond between the mortar and the coarse aggregate. Normally concrete shall be 14 days old uh, before the specimens are removed. It is uh, preferred that the concrete should be 28 days old for uh, drilling cores. A uh, core is usually cut by means of a rotary cutting tool with diamond beads. The concrete core drilling machine is portable but it is very heavy and uh, must be firmly supported and braced against the concrete to prevent relative movement uh, which will result in a distorted or broken core and uh, water supply is also necessary to lubricate the cutter uh, continuously. Handheld equipment is also available for cores up to 75 mm diameter. If the ends of the cores do not conform to the perpendicularity and uh, plainness requirements, then uh, they shall be saved or uh, ground to meet those requirements or uh, capped as per the standard procedure. After cores have been drilled, wipe off the surface drilled water and uh, allow the surface moisture to evaporate. When surface appears dry but not greater than one hour after drilling, Place cores in a separate bag or a container and seal to prevent moisture loss. Maintain that cores at uh, ambient temperatures and uh, protect them from exposure to direct sunlight. Transport the cores as soon as possible to the laboratory. Cores can be taken out uh, the bags uh, for a maximum time of 2 hours to permit capping before the testing. 
if water is used for grinding or uh, saving the core ends complete these operations as soon as possible but not later than two days after drilling minimize the duration of exposure to water during end preparation allow the cores to remain in the sealed plastic bags uh, containers uh, for at least five days after last being uh, wetted and before testing The ends of core specimen shall be flat and perpendicular to the longitudinal axis. Cutting should be such that the projections, if any, shall not extend more than 5 mm above the end surfaces and the end surfaces shall not depart from perpendicularity to the longitudinal axis. By a slope of uh, more than 1.5 diameter or 1 is to 0.3 diameter. Determine the density by weighing the core before capping, but after grinding the and uh, dividing the mass by the volume of the core calculated from the average diameter and the length. If the ends of cores do not conform to the perpendicularity and plainness requirements, uh, they shall be shaved or uh, ground or capped. Cores should be capped with high alumina cement mortar, sulfur sand mixture or epoxy to provide parallel end surfaces normal to the axis of the core. Other materials should not be used as they have been shown to give uh, unreliable results. Caps should be capped as soon as possible but if the core is hand trimmed they may be up to about the maximum aggregate size at the thickness point. It is essential that the cap uh, be thin, preferably 1.5 to 3 mm. The capping material must be no weaker than the concrete in the specimen. Before testing, measure the average length of the capped or uh, ground specimen and use this length to compute L by D ratio. Determine the average diameter by averaging two measurements taken at uh, right angles to each other at the mid height of the specimen. Uh, do not test cores if the difference between smallest and largest diameter of the core exceeds 5% of their average. Core should be taken to avoid reinforcements. Cover meter can be used to locate the bars. It is usual to find rebar in the core samples. Uh, these are usually uh, on one or the other side. The part of the core beyond the rebar is cut off and only the concrete portion is taken for the test. Where it is not possible to avoid uh, the bars, uh, correction factors are to be applied. The core with rebar parallel to the axis of course cannot be used as the effect of the rebar will be too large to ignore. The rebar perpendicular to the axis can be tolerated as long as correction factor is uh, less than 10%. Taste the specimen within 7 days after coring. When we taste the core, it placed in water at a temperature of 24 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius for 48 hours before testing. Center the core carefully on the lower plate of the machine without shock apply and increase the load continuously at constant rate within range of 0.2 to 0.4 Newton per mm square per second until no greater load can be sustained. Not uh, any usual failure and uh, appearances on the concrete. Calculate the compressive strength of each core by dividing the maximum load by the cross-sectional area calculated from the average diameter. Express the results to the nearest 0.5 Newton per mm square and no edge correction should be used in the interpretation of the strength of the cores. The knotted taste data be recorded in the standard performa for the reporting uh, of the strength, the taste reports that includes important data as you see on the screen. Throughout the world, core testing is acceptable method for the determination of strength and quality of the concrete in a structure. So it is all about testing of concrete core. Let's meet with another video with new topic and fresh knowledge. Till then, goodbye and take care.